Hello, this is Ariel Square back with another video. Today I would like to explain why I do not want to have kids in the future. I will explain my reasons. Being pregnant just sucks. I know I've never experienced pregnancy but from what I've heard, you have to carry a fetus for 9 months. This can easily lead to morning sickness, stomach pains, nausea, and even vomiting. You can't eat your favorite foods or drinks which can be a problem to folks that like soda slash pop or candy. Also, abortion is not legal in a few states here in my country since the Roe v. Wade was overturned. You probably would have to pay for a lot of things such as diapers, bottles, cribs, baby food when they are babies to toys, school supplies, bags, and other stuff they want as they get older. When you are expected to throw birthday parties, they will cost around $200 or even $300 for a sweet 16. Do you know how much money that is? I mean, what if I was on a tight budget? Here's an image I found on Google for how much raising a child can cost. Have you ever dealt with a baby before? I can tell you that they are harder to take care of than a dog, I mean way harder. The baby may cry at like 3 a.m. in the fucking morning for a stupid bottle of milk or if you have to change its smelly diaper. Babies are very dependent to survive. Way too dependent to the fact it stresses you out. Whenever there is a child, begging their parents to buy a toy or other items that they want. The parent then says, Honey, we can't buy this, because it's way too expensive. The child then throws a temper tantrum for everyone to see, which can be really annoying and embarrassing. The parent would have to buy the toy just to shut their kid up. These kids would force their parents to buy other useless crap just because it's popular or trendy, not because it's useful and beneficial. For instance, an 11-year-old would force their parents to buy an iPhone just for social media to quote-unquote connect with friends unquote, when in reality, these kids are too young to be on social media. Back in my middle school years, I wasn't on social media, and instead played games such as Geometry Dash on my broken, glitchy iPad. Back when I was a little kid, like 10 to 14 years ago, I would cry a lot, even for the stupidest reasons, to the point where a lot of folks including my parents would get annoyed of me. BTW, if I'm dealing with a child like that, then I feel like I want to abandon them at an unknown place, but I can't because that would be child neglect. I'm so thankful that my parents did not do that with me. When you already get married and have kids, not only will you have to deal with a nagging spouse, but kids who will get into a fight with you, even for the most petty shit. Worst of all, if you are raising a spoiled child, they will most likely drain out your mental and emotional health quicker than a suck on a vacuum cleaner. You also can't have as much time to yourself, why exactly? Not only will you have to deal with work, but you will also have to help prepare your kids for school, take them to clubs, sports, and her other activities that they might be interested in. Basically, you will have to make sacrifices just for your kids' needs. Also, raising autistic kids or kids with disabilities would be even harder than normal kids since you have to take them to programs for the disabled, no offense to folks with disabilities. Let's be honest, there are so many people in this world. There are around 8.05 billion people living on this planet. In my senior year of high school, there were a lot of freshmen and sophomores to the point where the entire school was congested. In the church I went to for catechism classes, the hallways would be congested to the point there would be folks who would shove a lot of people just to get through. Same thing with my high school, except it's a lot worse. In the industrial unit of my world history class I took in my senior year of high school, I learned that overcrowded towns slash cities can lead to poor sanitation, higher crime rate, families having to share a cramped room, and even spread diseases or sicknesses more easily. So, these are my reasons why I don't want to have kids in the future. If you plan to have kids, then that's your choice but, if you get mad at this video, well that's a you problem. Before I end this video, I would like to give a shout out to the Weed is Heat 96, the side hustler J03, and epic superstar Aaron Guy 08 and others for inspiring me to do this video. This is Ariel Sky 2596 out. Peace.